We've got more Madden 23 updates to talk about. Now, yesterday you may have seen the video I did on the Madden community strike that's going on right now. If you didn't see that video, I will link it below in the pinned comment. But over the last few days, the Madden community has gone on strike against buying packs in the Ultimate Team game, but also even offline players have been kind of striking against just playing the game in general because there's so many bugs and modes like franchise and face of the franchise. Now, EA hasn't made any official statement on this yet, but they've pretty much let us know in so many words that they heard us and they're working on things, but what does that mean? We don't really know. We know they're working on the slew of franchise mode issues, and Ultimate Team has seen a couple changes since all of this happened. They've put some new packs in the store, they've put some new rerolls in the store, but they've also taken away some reward packs for playing the game for free and winning Super Bowls, so it's still a mess right now, and they still have a lot of stuff to handle. A big title update is around the corner as well, which is going to see some gameplay changes, possibly some more fixes for the offensive line, possibly some tweaks to man defense and more. And hopefully a bunch of the franchise mode issues will finally be addressed. There might still be some post-launch updates dedicated to franchise mode as well this year where they could be adding some more things to the game, but they haven't officially spoken on it yet. But if they go away from that, I think there's going to be a lot more backlash than they've already gotten from the franchise community. There's also a new drop coming for the yard game mode for the people that play it i don't really know how many people still play this mode i know some people play it but i can't imagine it's too high i know the first year it was in the game it was a lot more popular than it is now but they haven't really made a lot of changes to it and gave people more incentive to play but there is a new gear drop coming which you can see screenshots on the screen right now they posted this to their twitter just moments ago so if you're one of the people that does play the mode there is some new stuff coming it might already be in the game today i haven't checked or it could be coming tomorrow so just stay tuned on that now we're gonna get into this huge roster update that just hit the game that has a ton of changes but really quickly let's hear a word from today's video sponsor today's video is sponsored by beard club for all my beard guys out there you know how much work and effort it takes to keep the beard looking nice clean and fresh whether it's growth oils styling products or a top of the line trimmer you need a small army of products to grow your best beard luckily beard club is here to help their growth kit features sprays to strengthen and moisturize your beard hair oils that prime follicles for optimal growth and more no matter what type of beard you have beard club has the perfect kit to fit your need if you're not sure what kit you can always take their beard quiz and they'll personally recommend a grooming kit that's tailored to your beard's needs now i have the grooming kit from beard club and i use it almost every day their grooming kit comes with a pt45 trimmer it's truly a beard changing device there's no painful hair pulling it's sturdy as hell and it has an amazing battery life i use their amazing trimmer to make sure my beard is always cleaned up and fresh i use the shampoo to clean it and i use the oils for growth and last but not least you always got to give it a nice good brush after you apply everything grow your best beard today and take 20 percent off of your order when you go to beardclub.com slash rayweather and use code rayweather now let's get into this week's huge roster update we're going to start with the players who are going up first and the first player is nick chubb going up plus one to a 98 overall the best running back in the game and he's getting very close to that 99 which could be happening very soon next we've got josh allen going up plus one to a 94 overall mark andrews also going up plus one to a 90 and Darius Slay, who had a really big game against Justin Jefferson on Monday night. He's going up plus two to a 94 overall. I believe this is the highest he's ever been rated. Michael Parsons has been on a tear, looking like the early favorite for defensive player of the year. He's going up plus one to a 91 overall. Minka Fitzpatrick is also going up plus one to a 91. Justin Herbert is going up plus one to a 90 overall. Max Crosby is going up plus one to a 89 overall. And Jeffrey Simmons is also going up plus one to a 89. Lamar Jackson's going up plus one to a 88 overall. Brandon Cooks is also going up plus one to a 88. And Brandon Sheriff is also going up plus one to a 88. Marcus Williams had a bunch of interceptions so far this year, going up plus one to a 87 overall. Josh Allen from the Jaguars is going up plus one to a 86 overall. And DJ Reader is also going up plus one to a 86. Jalen Waddle coming off a huge game is going up plus one to a 85 overall. David Montgomery also coming off a big game, going up plus one to a 85 overall. And Jadavion Clowney is going up plus three to a 85 overall. T Higgins is going up plus one to a 84 overall. Dawson Knox also also going up plus one to a 84. Christian Kirk is also going up plus one to a 84. And Leonard Williams is also going up plus one to a 84. Javante Williams is going up plus one to a 83 overall. Jamel Dean also going up plus one to a 83. And Miles Jack is also going up plus one to a 83 overall. 
DeAndre Swift is going up plus one to 82 overall. And Evan Ingram is also going up plus one to 82. Tony Pollard's going up plus one to 81 overall. Eric McCoy also going up plus one to 81. And Jacoby Myers also going up plus one to 81. Amon Ross St. Brown having a huge season so far, going up plus two to 80 overall. Elijah Moore's going up plus one to 80 overall. Jeremiah Owusu Karamoa is going up plus one to 80 as well. Cole Holcomb also going up plus one to 80 overall. And Curtis Samuel is also going up plus one to 80. The rookie Aiden Hutchinson is going up plus one to a 78 overall. Rashad Bateman is also going up plus one to a 78. Garrett Wilson also going up plus one to a 78 overall. Brees Hall is going up plus one to a 77 overall. And Jahan Dodson is also going up plus one to a 77. Tua Tungavailoa, after a huge comeback last week, he's going up plus two to a 77 overall. Jalen Hurts has been having a pretty big season so far. He goes up plus one to a 76 overall, but this just feels really low based on how he's been playing so far this year. Noah Brown for the Cowboys kind of emerged last week and he's looking really good. He's going up plus one to a 72 overall, but his speed also went up plus two to a 88 overall. And we can't forget about the Dallas backup quarterback, Cooper Rush. Had a pretty good game against the Bengals. He's going up plus five to a 63 overall. Now let's talk about the guys who are going down, starting with Jonathan Taylor going down one to a 94 overall. Dalvin Cook is going down one to a 93 overall. Jair Alexander is going down 2 to a 92 overall. Joe Mixon is going down 1 to a 92 overall. Cameron Jordan is going down 1 to a 90 overall. Alvin Kamara is going down 1 to a 89 overall. Didn't even play last week, but that's EA for you. Joe Burrow been struggling a little bit to start this season. He's going down 1 to a 89 overall. Chandler Jones is going down 1 to a 88 overall. Demarcus Lawrence is also going down 1 to a 88. TJ Hawkinson is also going down 1 to 88 overall. Adam Thielen has not done too much yet this year. He's going down 1 to 87 overall. Daniil Hunter is going down 1 to 86 overall. Quinn Williams is going down 1 to 85 overall. Russell Wilson is also going down 1 to 85. Zadarius Smith also down 1 to 85. Eric Armstead also down 1 to 85. And Lyle Collins also down 1 to 85 overall. James Robinson is going down 1 to 84 overall. Hunter Renfro also down 1 to 84. Trey Hendrickson also down 1 to 84. And Grady Jarrett also down 1 to 84 overall. Tyler Boyd is down 1 to 83 overall. Akeem Hicks is going down 2 to 82 overall. Noah Fant is going down 1 to 81 overall. And Ryan Tannehill is going down 2 to 81 overall. James Conner is down 1 to 80 overall. Juju Smith-Schuster is also down 1 to an 80. Melvin Ingram is down 3 to an 80 overall. And Kirk Cousins is down 1 to an 80 overall as well. Matt Ryan going down again, 1 to a 79 overall. And Kenny Galladay is also down 1 to a 79. Baker Mayfield goes down 1 to a 75 overall. And Jameis Winston is going down 2 to a 75 overall. Now, if you want to know more about the big strike the Madden community is on right now, make sure you check out this video right here on the screen.